Hey everyone, thanks for joining me here at Mark Douglas Outside. Currently I'm in my backyard. You can probably hear people mowing their lawns. You'll probably see some cars driving in the background over there. Not much you can do. We're all supposed to be staying indoors. Or at least staying at home. Until this passes over. Hopefully everyone's staying safe and healthy. If you like this video, press the like button. It'll help me out. If you want to see new videos for me, press the subscribe button down below. I release new videos at 9.30 every Saturday night. And if you just want to say hi, leave a comment. I want to hear from you. Today I'll be talking about the three items I usually bring on all my backpacking and hiking trips and even on my cycling trips. The first item I usually bring is my water filter. The Katadyne? Katadin? Katadyne? Whatever it is, the bee free filter. This one I usually bring with me everywhere just because a lot of times I'd run out of water. Either on my cycling trips, my backpacking trips, hiking trips. The only time I don't bring this is when I just do a hike in the metro parks. Just because the metro parks here in Columbus have water fountains everywhere. Except nowadays all the water fountains are closed just because we gotta flatten that curve. The thing I like about this water filter is that it filters water relatively fast and it compacts really small inside my backpack so I can take it everywhere. Once it gets down to this part where it's kind of hard to manage, kind of hard to push the water out of it, and when it's kind of difficult to put it back into your back pocket of your backpack, the way to remedy that is to open this up a little bit, let some air in, then, and then just reclose it. And then kind of keeps its shape and it makes it easier to put it back into your backpack right on that love handle pocket. With this filter, it's 2.2 ounces and it's super light. And when all the water's out of it, it compresses to a super small little ball that you can stuff anywhere in your backpack. The next thing I usually bring is a raincoat. This one is the Outdoor Research Helium 2. The main reason I bring it is to actually just block the wind. As a raincoat, it does okay. If it's warm outside and it's raining, you'll just sweat into it. So I don't know if I'm usually getting wet from the rain or from my own sweat. But when it's cold outside and it's windy, it does a great job of blocking the wind. Even in the winter, usually I'll take my puffy coat off and then just wear this while I'm hiking. And the fact that I'm just generating heat in the winter and blocking the wind, I usually am not too cold even below and when it's below 30 degrees outside. This one does have a hood, an adjustable hood. Also it has a water resistant pocket with a water resistant zipper. Has elastic cuffs and on the inside there is a little pocket that you can put a little items in or if you invert it you can stuff your coat into the little pocket and put it back into your backpack just to make it neater but usually I'll end up just stuffing in my backpack without it putting in the pocket because it's just easier to take in and out with this jacket it is 6.4 ounces and that's the main reason I got it because it's super light this has been super durable haven't had any holes in it even when I'm carrying logs of firewood or when I'm standing near a campfire and the sparks have actually have hit it I haven't had any pinhole pinholes from it one downside though if it is pouring down rain it will eventually soak through so Light rain is awesome, downpours not so awesome. And the last item I bring is a sit pad. This one is a Thermarest Z seat made out of closed cell foam. It's water resistant so whenever you're sitting on the ground you can lay that sit this down on the ground and you can sit right on top of it and you won't have a wet muddy butt. When you're sitting on a log it does keep your butt a little bit warm so you don't lose heat through sitting on the log or sitting on the rock. It's also nice when uh, you're by the campfire. You can use it to fan the fire. You can also kind of use it as a little wind block if you have a if you have a stove 
You can set it up, prop it up, help block the wind. I believe it's two ounces. It's super light, super cheap, and when you're not using it, you can fold it up this way or like this way and stuff it in your pack. And those are the three items I usually bring with me on my adventures, just because they're super useful and pretty light. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye, stay safe, land that curve.